19-year-old Lydia Nantale is an amateur fighter at the Rhino Boxing Club. It's a makeshift gym where she and a handful of other young women are picking up the sport to earn extra cash. I took up boxing after going to watch my friends. At that time, my mother was sick and I needed money for her medical bills. My friends told me boxing could change my life for the better. She's not the only one with big dreams of glory in the ring. The women who train here hope the money they earn from fights could give them a better life than what the slums have to offer. But boxing is dominated by men in Uganda, and local tournaments don't offer high-stake bouts for women. Earning money often means being paired with opponents a lot stronger than they are. It's very frustrating to spar with men. There aren't enough female opponents. It's happened to me more than once. It's really discouraging. It's a problem their coach has seen all too often. He says while the women may have the boxing pedigree, academies focus on training young men who show potential to be stars. The female boxers do have talent, but getting exposure for them is difficult. What I want is for the government to give them the kind of support currently given to their male counterparts. But Natalia says she can't rely on state funds to help her and her family. The tens of thousands of residents in Katanga have lived in poverty and poor sanitation for more than two decades. For these women, giving up isn't an option. They say the gloves are off and they'll fight until they manage to box their way out of the slums. Regan Nevins, TRT World.